This question gives us information about some population in which we know that all adults, are not all adults, but 60% of all adults own a car. So 60% is the population proportion of car ownership. Now we are taking a sample from this population. We're taking a sample of 100 adults, so that is our sample size n. And we are asking, what's the probability that at least 70% of the sample will be car owners? So we're taking a sample and calculating the sample proportion. We call that P, the sample proportion, and that is a random variable. Because even if the population, we know there's 60% car ownership, each sample will give us a different value. And we describe random variables, of course, through that with their distributional properties. We know that for large sample sizes, this can be approximated with a normal distribution and handled is certainly a large enough sample size. And that is then described by an expected value of P and by the variance of P. Now, the expected value of P, so what's the expected sample proportion? That is just equal to the population proportion, which in this case we know. The variance of P is also related to that population proportion. It's calculated as pi times 1 minus pi divided by n. So the expected value is also 0.6 and the variance is 0.6 times 0.4 divided by 100 and that is 0.0024. So what we know now is the sampling distribution of our sample proportion is this one 0.6 times 0.0024. So we have we know how p is distributed, normally distributed like this, and now we are asking the question, what is the probability that p is larger or equal to 70%? But this is from now on, this is just a, a question where we have to deal with a normal distribution. Okay, We don't have a table for this particular distribution, so we need to standardize. That's the same as the probability that the standard normal distribution set is larger or equal to 0.7 minus the expected value which is 0.6 divided by the standard deviation which is the square root of 0.0024. We can calculate what that is. That's the probability that z is larger or equal to 2.04 2.04. So we can sketch that for a little sketched standard normal distribution which is centered around zero. So 2.04 is somewhere here. 2.04. We're interested in the probability of large or equal. So we're interested in this probability. If we look at the table we know that the probability which we find in a table is going to be this probability. That is the probability that Z is smaller or equal to 2.04. Remember, it's a continuous distribution, so the equal sign doesn't really change anything. We can use it on both sides. Um, and this is the probability that Z is larger or equal to 2.04 and this is just 1 minus that gray probability which we can read off the table. So let's go to the table and find our probability 2.04 so you need to go to 2 that is that is 0, that is 1, that is 2, that is 3, that is 4. So it's 0 0.9793. So that gray one is 0 0.9793. So 
Let's just complete our calculation. That is 1 minus 0 0.9793. And we are left with a probability of 0 0.021. A little bit more than 2%, or I could do precisely 0 0.07. 0.0207. Okay, so that's the size of this probability here. So there's a about 2% probability that if you draw from a population with a 60% car ownership proportion, a sample of 100, that in the sample you get a proportion which is larger or at least as large as 70%.